Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to pre-render some JavaScript with Java server pages. For this purpose, I already created an empty Jakarta E microprofile project, which um, is uh, deployed uh, on Payara with what? That we already had a single deployment. Now, the project is empty, so what I would like to do is to start with applications called Bean. And this application called Bean will provide us the data. Usually the data will come from a database. In our case, I would just use uh, or misuse microprofile config for this purpose. So um, I, I have to expose this bean directly to, or I want to dispose it directly to JSP. And uh, this is enough to be application scoped. And now I would like to inject the uh, config property with the name, with the name, uh, languages and I would like to copy that and uh, use it again almost copied and uh, then expose it and I think we are set except I also have to set it here so and we have the languages JSP JavaScript and Java. So um, this does not make a lot of sense. Usually we will uh, pre-render some data which resides in a, in a database, uh, let's say zip codes, um, or zip codes are not a good example, like you know, uh, internationalization, for instance, and it doesn't change too frequently. So this is, uh, doesn't change too frequently. This is the, the main idea here. So now um, we have that. So we have the developer, uh, and now expose this as a JSP. So let's call it app JSP. And uh, we don't need any, any markup here. And what I would like to do is just to have a for each loop. And the for each loop uh, will access the items. And the items should be accessible from developer.languages. And then I can use a var. And this is the, uh, the slot. And I will call the slot language. Now, uh, I can just use a select box just for test purposes and say, okay, so my option here is language. So looks good. Let's see whether it actually works. So uh, the name of the app is JSP and app JSP. And this was initial render and it seems to work. So the problem with that is, of course, it's not a, a JavaScript file. So um, to make it a JavaScript, I will have to change the content type. And also, also, what I would like to do is to change the ending. So let's do that. So I would like to change the ending from JSP just to JS. So now we did it. But the problem right now is this is no more a uh, JavaScript or no more a JSP. So this uh, is just empty, as you can see. So now. What we can do, we can tell the container to treat Java server pages or JS files as Java server pages. And this can be done in the standard deployment descriptor. And uh, it looks like that. So I just recorded a ma macro or this is a template. So all everything which ends with JS is actually a Java server page and UTF-8 is the standard encoding and text JavaScript. So with that, this app.js becomes a JavaScript file. So if I do it again, so it works again. So uh, as you can see, all JS files now can be pre-rendered on the server. So now uh, looks great, but what we actually wanted to do is we wanted to deliver text, um, a, a web component. And for this purpose, and actually absolutely can do this. So uh, let's do this class. Let's call it languages extends HTML element. And now the HTML element is going to be custom elements define. And what I would like to call it a languages. And uh, this is going to be languages. So looks good. And now what I have to do is I have to have a connected callback and in the connected callback in a HTML, in a HTML, and then the backticks, so ES6 template literal, and put that inside. So this would be a simplistic 
a simplistic uh, web component. So usually we would use lit HTML for that, but uh, for our purposes is good enough. So we have that. So custom elements define a languages. This is the languages and uh, this is the web component. So looks good. The problem is um, I will have to use it from HTML. So let's try that. New, uh, we need a HTML file. So let's go to web and try to find HTML page. Here is it and call it index. So we have the index and what I need to do is to have a script and uh, close that and source. And here just use app.js. This is good. And also use a languages. Use that. So now perfect. So this is the app.js and this is our configuration. So with a little bit of luck, it should already work uh, a languages. So now let's try that. So instead of going to app.js, I would like to go directly here. And what we see is HTML is not defined. HTML element is not defined. HTML element is not defined because this is uppercase. So do it again. And uh, I would just force deployment. And, and now we see the output. So we have no errors. If you go to the inspector, we see that this is actually a custom elements with, with the select box. So it seems to work. So um, And um, also, GSPs are incredibly fast because um, at the very first call, a GSP is translated into servlet and then just a static string is served from the server or semi-static string is just concatenated with the data. So thank you for watching. See you at upcoming uh, workshops, um, Munich Airport, uh, projects or conferences. So thank you and bye.